Saturday, April 13th, 8.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, what you're looking at here in this intro is a large wedge tornado. And on the day that this tornado formed, there were certain atmospheric conditions that made this thing possible. We're going to take a look at some areas today where this could be a common scene across the landscape, especially in parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, Mississippi, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Alabama, parts of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana later on this afternoon and this evening. But what you're looking at here is a new map just put out by the Weather Prediction Center from NOAA, and you can see highlighted in red, that's an area of heavy rain flash flooding possible today. The areas in yellow are severe thunderstorms, and inside that severe thunderstorm area, in fact, all of this area of red and yellow, there's the potential for severe weather today with regard to large hail, high winds, and even tornadoes, the deck is heavily stacked in favor of, some, in some cases, even large wedge tornadoes. I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. But one parameter that's measured that is used to predict the possibility of tornadoes is known as helicity. And that's what you're looking at here at VentureSky.com. This dark burgundy is the helicity in the atmosphere and it's heavily heavily in favor of the formation of tornadoes in all of this burgundy area don't know exactly sure where but what we can look at are the numbers numbers are involved in every aspect of our life even the weather and you can see a chart over here on the right and the helicity goes up to 500 that's high and when it's up near those areas 400 500 even 300 historically tornadoes have spawned of course it takes many other variables to make tornadoes possible but this is just one and and when the deck is i use that metaphor but when when the deck is stacked in its favor like this tornadoes can form in these areas i'm going to show you what i mean keep in mind the chart only goes up to 500 right let's look in southeastern oklahoma 600 it's off the chart northeastern louisiana 660 north central texas 980 conditions are more than favorable at least with regard to helicity and helicity if you look at a page here at NOAA it explains what the SRH is the storm relative helicity and it's a measure of the potential cyclonic updraft rotation in a particular supercell and that's one thing that they've noticed a common trend when they see large tornadoes form the helicity was very high in those cases so throughout Louisiana Mississippi southern Arkansas in fact all of Arkansas because this storm system this atmospheric instability is going to move to the east northeast throughout this afternoon and this evening going up into Tennessee parts of Kentucky southeastern Louisiana or southeastern Missouri southern Illinois Indiana and I'll show you here as we move through the day we're gonna to go to 11 a.m. You can see it's moving up into Tennessee, go to 2 p.m. Now it's got all of Tennessee. Arkansas seems to be in the zone all day long. So if you're in Arkansas, pay very close attention to your weather conditions today. This is 5 p.m. Arkansas is still right in the middle of all of this energy. Now you've got Oklahoma, southeastern Oklahoma, heavily influenced. And look at the numbers in southeastern Oklahoma, 1,010. Keep in mind, it only goes up to 500. 500 means conditions with regard to helicity are very favorable for cyclonic updraft. When you see an area that's 1,010, conditions are extremely favorable for cyclonic updraft. You're looking at 700s in parts of Tennessee, 900 in parts of Tennessee. That's later on this afternoon into this evening. And this can linger on into the uh, late evening hours quite possibly into the overnight hours. Now we're looking at a thousand, a thousand and ten in southern Illinois. That is a parameter of severe weather that can produce tornadoes. And when it's at a thousand, there's a pretty good chance it's going to happen. Exactly where it's impossible to say. But let's just use for instance 930. Let's look at this area here. And this is Wayton, uh, Parthenon, Red Rock, and Diamond Cave and that is in Arkansas go over here to and that's this evening around 8 p.m. 
Northern Louisiana, Keel, Altus, Burt, and Oxford. Again, this is 8 p.m. this evening. Tennessee, we're looking at 1,020 in this area. Mansfield, Van Dyke, Ephesus, and Paris. That's in Tennessee. Here's another part of Tennessee where the cyclonic updraft could be very high. Uh, Liners, Ellis Mills, Tarsus, and Clarksville. Once again, that's 8 p.m. tonight. And this is going to be like this all day, guys. Like I said, the deck is stacked heavily in the favor of the uh, possibility of the formation of tornadoes. And another thing that they look at uh, with regard to these forecasting models and some of these are very good this is VentureSky.com that I've used for years that's very good I've used windy.com for a long time windy.com is excellent and you can see here at windy they're showing 2 p.m. this afternoon that bright pink and burgundy shows the possibility for severe weather and bright pinks and burgundies are at the top of the charts a lot of these parameters are at the top of the charts today in a wide area, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi especially, Tennessee later on this evening. But especially right now, or at least around lunchtime in Louisiana, you're looking at severe storms with high winds, very large hail. Some areas looking at hail in excess of three inches. Just an incredible day as far as severe weather is concerned. Here at weathercharts.com, you can see Saturday the 13th, and this is around lunchtime once again. You can see Arkansas, Louisiana, uh, parts of East Texas, southeastern Oklahoma. You guys are right in the mix of that orange and burgundy. That's severe weather of many different uh, varieties. Tornadoes, high winds, heavy rain. Some areas could see two three four even six inches of rain today just absolutely incredible i want to take you to another site that i've used for a long time it's called pivotalweather.com and they're another source of very good information these guys are good and they're going to take a look at what's known as sounding they go in and take a look at what's going on inside these supercells that are forecasted to form like say for instance here in parts of louisiana we're going to click on that area right there and it's going to bring up a set of parameters. The information on this charts, I know the basics. And right there, significant supercells. You can see there's four in that particular area. There were 35 matches for supercells in that area. 62 matches for significant hail in that area. But they're looking at the possibility of a tornado in that area. The sounding is telling them that conditions are going to be favorable for tornadoes in that area at lunchtime today in eastern east central louisiana goes on all day long like that guys throughout uh, texas now texas by this evening should be cleared out but it's going to move up into arkansas southern illinois indiana tennessee moving fairly slowly the storms are but they're going to remain very potent all day long here's another example of the sounding from pivotal.com and when i was talking about a pds right there you can see what i mean pds stands for potentially dangerous situation with regard to a tor tor stands for tornado again this one comes from east central louisiana Here's another one that I chose from the same area, generally the east central Louisiana area. Another PDS, potentially dangerous situation with regards to a tornado. They're saying an EF2 or greater, EF2 plus. That's the probability of this storm or probability of a tornado coming from this supercell storm system in that area around lunchtime today. Coming up in the next two to three hours in Louisiana, parts of western Mississippi, and then slowly moving to the east-northeast. Here's another example of a PDS. This is a different location, again, in Louisiana around lunchtime today. You guys need to be ready and have a plan. This is a very significant weather system that more than likely will produce multiple tornadoes. At least the conditions are heavily in their favor. So the dark burgundy, if you're in this area today, clear through this evening. We're looking at up into 11 p.m. tonight as this energy moves up to the north, northeast. So if you're in these areas, pay very close attention to the skies today, guys, because 
tornadoes are more than likely going to be occurring in all of these states. It wouldn't surprise me if Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Alabama, it wouldn't surprise me if they all saw at least one tornado today. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Here's another map of severe weather risk for Saturday, April 13th. And this is from the Weather Center out of Shreveport, Louisiana. And the greatest uh, threat for tornadoes they're showing here on this map is this afternoon and this evening throughout central Louisiana, east central Lu Louisiana, going over into Mississippi. Medium potential for tornadoes, and this was done yesterday. Golf ball to tennis ball size hail. Wind speeds of 70 to 80 miles per hour are going to be quite common throughout the state of Louisiana today. So big heads up, guys. This storm and the storm system is occurring today. It's going on right now as I do this video. Looking back at the large storm system that just rolled through the central U.S., the Great Plains, there's that giant storm. It anchored in Nebraska, much like the storm we saw back in March. Brought a lot of snow up into South Dakota, parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, where they saw whiteout conditions. This was sent in by Joe from Austin, Texas, as he was observing the backside or the tail of this storm from Austin, Texas. He was on the west side of the storm where it was clear. He was looking east at the storm as it was moving to the north. And there's what it looked like from Austin, Texas. He was looking at this area right here on the right. And there's the storm system on the left as it's moving to the north. That storm has since cleared out, but not before bringing blizzard conditions to Minnesota, South Dakota, even parts of North Dakota. Here you can see a car on the I-94 eastbound in Minnesota that's off in the ditch due to high winds, uh, road conditions that were deplorable at the time. Here in South Dakota, there's a video that's linked below in the description box from South Dakota Extremes. And they were out driving in this blizzard when it was an extreme whiteout right in this area here, just north of the center of rotation. And that's what the weather looked like during the whiteout conditions. Power outages, when they first started, South Dakota was involved in the power outages in Minnesota. The yellow, when it lights up, to yellow like that, that means it's over 10,000. Other areas saw power outages too, but they weren't over 10,000. That's why they're not highlighted in yellow. But as we move on, that's in the morning. As we move on throughout the afternoon, you can see Minnesota peaked at around 25,000, Michigan 22,000, Iowa 13,000, um, I think parts of South Dakota and Wisconsin remained under 10,000. That's why they're not lit up in yellow. But power outages affected one, two, three, four, five, at least five, quite possibly six, maybe seven states during that very large, powerful storm. You can expect power outages today throughout parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Texas, and in fact, if I'm not mistaken, there are tornadoes right now going through parts of Texas as I do this video. So be safe out there, guys. Big weather today going on throughout the southeastern part of the United States, and it's going to continue for the next several hours. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.